That Vivek guy is very yeah. interesting, very rational, and very smart. His company quickly skyrocketed in value, landing this boy in the bubble on Forbes's coveted 30 under 30 list. Who became a biotech entrepreneur before making a name for himself with a book, Woke Inc. But who was Vivek before becoming a nearly billion dollar man? My parents came to this country 40 years ago with no money. My parents gave me a great family foundation. I didn't grow up in money. Hardship is something that happens to you, but victimhood is a choice. Whether you agree with or hate his politics, it's very clear that Vivek Ramaswamy has what I call true grit. Today, I'm going to cast aside politics and take a deep dive into Vivek. We're going to talk about how he built his empire and how failure influenced his success and how I combat the victimhood mentality at my $200 million garage door company, A1 Garage Door Service. My parents gave me a great family foundation. I didn't grow up in money. We're trying to give that to my two kids as well. I want that to be enjoyed by Americans across the country. Vivek Ramaswamy was born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio, and he was raised with an engineer father and a psychiatrist mother who immigrated from India. While Vivek's family was educated, they still went through their fair share of financial hardship. I did not grow up in money. My dad, when he was actually working at the GE plant in Evendale, Ohio, that was exactly when Jack Welch was implementing large-scale layoffs across the company. Vivek watched his parents struggle, but he learned about grit. Vivek was an unbelievably remarkable kid. He learned how to play the piano and became a nationally ranked tennis player in high school. And then he continued to Harvard, and then he went on to Yale. At Harvard, he founded his first company, Campus Venture Network. It was essentially a private social networking website for students who aspire to launch a business. He sold his company to a private charity, and that's how he made his first million. After Harvard, Vivek dove into the world of biotechnology. I've developed medicines, five of which are FDA-approved products today, one of mm -hmm. which is a life-saving therapy in kids, 20 of whom die by the age of three if they're not treated, 70% of whom now live lives of a normal duration. Vivek's principles made it clear. His purpose in the entrepreneurial space was not just to make money, it was to make a huge difference in mankind. His goal was for it to help pharmaceutical companies develop drugs for diseases like Alzheimer's. I had a front row seat, for better or worse, to see it. Not just my grandmother, sister, and other family members, but even my mother, who treated these patients on the front line. That was her career. 2014, Vivek jumped from the hedge fund analyst world to biotech executives, where he founded his biotech firm, Royvent Sciences. It was this venture that would get Ramaswamy on the cover of Forbes magazine and put his net worth to the hundreds of millions of dollars. $2.87 billion, that's the current valuation of, of Axobine for today. As a 29-year-old with a bold idea and Ivy League connections, he engineered what was at the time the largest initial public offering in the biotechnology industry's history. And still he had very lofty goals, Vivek had to continue taking risks. A rough day for Axovant Sciences as the stock dropped 75% this Tuesday. Vivek raised $360 million for one of Royvent's subsidiaries, Axovent Sciences. Only to see the Alzheimer drug at the center fail two years later and the company's value tank. I think that Failure is part of what makes every entrepreneur stronger. Obviously, you banked on a, a medicine that you thought would work for Alzheimer's disease that, that didn't end up working. It felt like we were within striking distance of doing something for humanity that literally would have been world-changing, would have changed the course of human flourishing in human history. And like 99.7% of other drugs that have ever been tested for Alzheimer's disease, the one that I developed wasn't one of mine that succeeded either. And for me, in some ways, experientially, that was probably something that helped build me up, that helped build the company up. And so it's hard to regret something that contributes to what got you to where you are today. I'll tell you guys, it's so important to have a critical why. Simon Sinek says, figure out your why and make it meaningful. Understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. Because without a meaningful why, everything falls apart. We're human beings. What makes us different from animals is that we can believe, we need to believe in something bigger than ourselves. At A1 Garage Doors, a lot of things go wrong. We have trucks falling apart. Sometimes guys have to get fired. It's not always perfect, but I'll tell you this. I'm out to change lives. I'm out to help people accomplish their dreams. I'm here to make sure that everybody around me wins the Elevate Mindset. I know it's not easy. Delegating your time, trusting people. I, I can tell you this, Murphy's Laws hit me a million times. But I'll tell you, perseverance, not quitting, finding a bigger why, having a cause, doing what Vivek did is the game changer that will set you free.
have a big cause, know what you're going for, and strive to be the best version of yourself, and you'll win all the time at business and in life.